Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. This time our video is about creating your own thumbnail using only Filmora. Thumbnails are essentially images YouTube will use to present your video. So we want a very beautiful image that can catch people's attention and make them want to click and see your video. Believe it or not, you can create this kind of thumbnails using only Filmora. In this tutorial, we're gonna create some thumbnails like this one and this one. You'll see you're gonna like this video. We will split the tutorial in about four parts. First, how to create a thumbnail from a simple picture. Then, how to create a thumbnail from a frame taken from a video. How to apply a green screen creating our thumbnails. And finally, how to use some background images. And remember, you can always, in this tutorial, go to the description and then you will find the link to our Fulfill Mora Tutorials playlist. Just click on it and you can see all the Filmora tutorials we created. Well, let's come back to Filmora and create some thumbnails. We will apply some effects with some previous tutorials, like extracting a frame from a night tutorial. We will be using green screen, picture in picture effect, and some advanced text effects. So let's get started. First, open up Filmora. Let's create a thumbnail from a picture. Let's import a picture. Go to navigation panel, click on media, and then import media files. Let's search for a picture. Pictures. And let's select one. Like this one, click on this, then open. We have imported a picture. Let's click on it and drag it to the timeline. Remember what we saw in our previous tutorial? To create a picture, a photo, just position the marker over it. Then you press this tool, the snapshot, and then you create a new picture that will appear here in the navigation panel. But you can also make some adjustments. Let's increase the zoom slider this way. And now let's apply a text effect. Go to the navigation panel, click on text, and they apply something like this one. Click on it and drag it to the timeline. Position it below the picture. Position the marker. And now you see the text effect. Let's edit it. Click on the text effect, click on edit, and now let's change this text and let's write pretty girl. Let's customize this, select the text, change its size, its color, as we learned in our previous tutorials. Not red, maybe blue, and let's change to another... Okay, this will be okay. It's too small. You can select the shape, adjust its size, its position, and again, click on the words, the text, change, this way. Okay, this could be a simple thumbnail. Let's import another thing, maybe the YouTube logo. I use some PNG pictures I have downloaded from Google. Let's search for it. Come back to the media button, import, import media files, and in pictures. I have some PNGs, like this one for example. Let's import it, open, and when I have it here in the navigation panel, I can click on it and drag it to the timeline. Position it below the picture. Position the marker over it, I click on the logo here, and then adjust its position its size, like here. YouTube, this way. And then this could be a thumbnail. To create the thumbnail, just click on the snapshot, click on this. And now we have created a thumbnail. And as we saw in our previous tutorial, this is just a shortcut to the real picture we have created. That picture is in, right click, find target, and then the thumbnail we create are saved on documents, wonder search Filmora, user search, a snapshot, and there you have your thumbnail. Right click on it, properties, it's a PNG file, it's a picture, okay? Double click on it, and as you can see, it's just a picture you can use in YouTube as a thumbnail of your videos. Well, you know how to load a thumbnail from your web browser. In any page, in any YouTube page, 
you just click on this arrow, upload, click on this, and in this window you just select file to load, and then select the video you want to load, like this one for instance. Click open, and YouTube start the uploading. Now, from this window, if you have a verified channel, you just need to click on custom thumbnail. Click on this, and then search for the thumbnail you have created. Do you remember where is it? It's on documents, under search Filmora, user search, snapshot, and there you have the brand new thumbnail you have created using only Filmora. Double click on it to apply, and your new thumbnail is uploading. It will last a few seconds. And that is all. This is how you upload a thumbnail. But now let's create some thumbnails from a scene. A frame of a video. Let's close this. Okay, let's continue. Let's import a video. Here on the navigation panel, media, import, media files. And let's search a video. This PC, videos. And let's use a video. Like this one. Click and open. We have just created this thumbnail. Uh, it's a picture actually. If we select this all this way and delete it, we still keep the thumbnail. Now let's use this video. Click, drag it to the timeline to extract a frame. Take a picture of any scene and create a thumbnail. Let's zoom in a little. In a zoom slider this way. Let's look for a moment. Over here, no. Let's play the video. Play. Made it a piece of reversible artwork. Oh, really? So. Okay, let's make a thumbnail of this. To freeze the scene, uh, when I want to do this, I use to split by this control, split. So, if I later move the slider, I know where to find that frame again. I just position the marker in that place. Now, let's apply some interesting scenes about it. It's a scene, a frame of a video, and let's apply a text effect, of course. Click on text edit and select one. Like this one, click and drag it to the timeline. Okay, it's on the timeline. Why I cannot see it? Because I haven't positioned the marker over it. Let's zoom out a little. Now let's position the text effect below the scene. And position the marker at the exact place, at the exact moment. Click on the text effect, on edit again. And let's write second thumbnail. The text is too big. Let's position it better. Let's select this. Reduce the size. Change the font. About this? No. This one. Second thumbnail, okay. I use the size a little. And now let's apply some advanced test effects. Just as we learn in our egg tutorial. Clicking on advanced. And let's adjust this. Let's select thumbnail, change its color to blue, a border, a shadow. Let's add a text, click on text, position it better, and let's write from a video. Select this, change its size, position it where you want it, select again, change the color to green, and the font. What about this one? It's okay. Maybe shorter. That would be nice. Click OK. Remember to click OK again. And now look what is happening. Position the marker and play this. Oh, really? So, you can see here. Okay, we need to position the text effect better. This way, drag it. Position the marker where you want. And now you have your thumbnail. Let's add the YouTube logo. You can use any PNG file. Let's come back to the media button, this one, and let's import media files, go to pictures, and then select any PNG, YouTube, open. Now I have it here in the navigation panel, you can click and drag it to the timeline. If you position it here, here is it, position the marker where you want the picture, and then the adjust its size, its position. And well, this could be a thumbnail. What you have to do, just click on snapshot and that will create the thumbnail. Click on it. 
This is our new thumbnail. Where is it? Right click on it, find target, and again is in documents, on the surface more, a user source, a snapshot. Here we have our second thumbnail. Double click on it to see it. It's just a picture. Here is it. We use test effects, advanced test effects, and imported a, a logo. Now let's use some green screen effect. That would be interesting. Once again, if you select this all and delete it, you still can keep the thumbnail you have just created. Let's watch the typical YouTube's thumbnails. How to make a thumbnail? Look at this thumbnail. This seems to be a background image. Over it there is a, a picture of this guy. I think he used the green screen effect, took a picture with a green wall behind or a green curtain, and then he appears over the background image. There is also a text effect fonts in green with a black outline. Look at this other, this one. Again, a background image, a very big text effect, text in yellow with a gray tint, and also an image. This girl, this seems to be a picture and picture effect. She has a picture of herself, and you see also another picture and another picture. These are actually two pictures overlaid on other picture. Again, background image, YouTube logo, big text. Let's use the green screen effect. Let's come back to Filmora. So let's import an image, import media files, pictures, and let's find an image like this one. Open. Let's drag it to the timeline. And well, this is too simple to be a thumbnail, but we want to practice with the green screen effect. Let's import media files and let's take this picture of this girl over a curtain. That is right. Let's click, drag it to the timeline below the other picture. Remember how to apply the green screen effect? That was our fourth tutorial. Right click on the picture, green screen, make parts of the clip transparent, and that's it. We have a little problem here. What can we do? Apply the max effect. Click on mask. This is the first time we do this. Later we will make a tutorial of masking. But right now I want to mask this picture. Let's come back to effect. Disable the green screen effect. I want you to see what I'm going to do. Click on mask. And let's reduce the width of this picture. This way. And let's position it better. This way. This is masking, later we will do in a tutorial of this. Let's come back to the effect. And now apply the green script. Make parts of the clip transparent. Click on this. And now seems like the girl is in some kind of park. How? Using the green screen effect. Okay, you can do this just by using a photo of yourself over a curtain or over a green wall. Let's come back to the timeline. Well, let's apply some text, text credit, let's select one, like this one, click on it, drag it to the timeline, why can't I see it? I have to position the micro over it, and now I can see it. Double click on it to edit, or click on it and the edit button, and now let's move this. So green screen effect and big text, okay, okay, and that could be a simple thumbnail. Come back to the media button, click on a snapshot, and now we have another thumbnail. Now let's try to use this kind of background image, like this one, it's an image at the background. This is also an image at the background. These two. It's a very used resource. Background image. Let's use some background image to create our final thumbnail. To find any background image, just go to Google and type background images. Click on images and then find something that you like. Let's look for something. What about this one? I just click on it, right click. Save image as, let's call it background image 1 and let's save it at the pictures folder. Let's save that and now we have this picture at the pictures folder of our computer. 
we come back to Filmora and let's search for it. Import media files, go to our pictures folder, and there we can find well here is it our background image. Click and open. Now we're importing it to Filmora. This will be our background image. Let's apply some other things. Let's import some green screen footage like this picture. Open. Let's delete this. Select it and delete. Let's bring the background image to the timeline and the green screen footage. As we learn in our fourth tutorial, must be dragged to the second track. Right click on it and green screen. Make parts of the clip transparent. And that's it. Okay. Now let's position this girl. This is okay. Like this. You're right. Let's drag this even bigger to the right. Even bigger. I love this. Now let's apply some very big text over here. How? Text effect. We're gonna do something new. Look at this. We're gonna take any simple text effect and drag it to the timeline. I can see it. I position the marker over it to see it. Now let's apply some advanced edition. Double click on the text effect. Advanced. And let's delete all this. Click and delete. Click and delete. And now let's apply a completely brand new text. How? Clicking in Add Text Box. And let's type Create a Thumbnail. This looks too small. Let's select this. Increase its size. Change the font type. Position it better. You can increase its size by this way too. Let's select this, and this could be red. Drag and fill from red to a lighter red with bordering white and some shadow. Create a thumbnail. What about if we add the YouTube logo? We can do it right here at the advanced text editor. How remember? Add image, go to pictures, increase the YouTube logo, open, and position it. Over here, maybe bigger. That would be nice. Okay, remember, okay again. And now we have a new thumbnail. This one really looks like the typical YouTube thumbnails. Look like this one. It's very nice. It's actually very easy. And if you wanna make some more adjustments, like for example, adding a V letter, it will be simple too. Remember, create a thumbnail. It's actually the text effect. I'll click on it again, click on the edit button, and then I can adjust. Fix to thumbnail. Now it's okay. So don't forget to actually create the thumbnail. How? By clicking on a snapshot. Click on this. Now this is our thumbnail. Right click on it. Find target, double click to open, and as you can see, it's just a picture. A picture you have created using Filmora to be applied as a thumbnail on your YouTube videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and to see you in the next one.